the long-lasting conflict and recurrent uh, natural calamities such as uh, drought and floods have eroded the resilience of the civilian population. Over one million people do not have enough to eat today in Somalia, and many of those were forced to move to the camps for the displaced people. In a recent assessment that ICRC has conducted in Beledwene in central Somalia, over 840 women were found to be severely acutely malnourished. Many of those were raising children on their own. And I can remember one of those ladies who is walking as a porter lifting heavy weights, which is a job that's usually reserved for men at the market. And she is doing that to feed her children. And that tells us the situation is really bad. In rural areas of Somalia, the ICRC is supporting the farmers to increase their crop production. We recently donated tractors and irrigation systems to many communities in Somalia. And in those areas, we are seeing an increase in crop production. For example, a mother who is raising nine children on her own, who could not utilize her land and was cultivating only one hectare, is now cultivating five hectares. And the surplus crop she has produced was sold at the local market. She used that money to send her children to school. And if we continue supporting these farmers, we can go a long way to reducing the recurrent food shortages in Somalia. The ICRC assists the population with the basic necessities of life, such as food and shelter. But we also uh, try to help the people to recover and to make their own living. Uh, in the IDB camps of Mogadishu and Beladwina and Kismaya and many other towns in Somalia, we are now training young men and women who are unskilled to uh, gain uh, new life skills that uh, enable them to walk. For example, a young man who has been trained by the ICRC as an electrician recently is now self-employed and is earning a good living to uh, feed his family.